Y'all gonna be uh, y'all gonna hate this video. <laughs> y'all gonna hate this shit. You pushed Jamie pushed what's his name? Damn Bran out of a tower. I gotta respect that. <laughs> I'm not saying she's heartless. I'm saying she's a bitch. She tried to kill Tyrion. He's a kid and he stop. Get out the comment section. Y'all aren't listening. Phrase, I don't know. Think about it. He hit it one time and married her. Oh my gosh, that kills me. <sighs> hear ye, hear ye. It has been brought to my attention that the loyal subjects of the House of Barry, for some reason, want their king to judge. <laughs> now, usually I leave that type of thing up to my king, king's justice. But in this rare circumstance, I'm a benevolent, be fuck. I am a benevolent king. I give my people what they want, as long as it's within reason. That's the type of king I am. And that's the type of appearance I want to uphold. Now, with all that being said, I, I, people wanted me to do this tier list. Here's the thing about tier lists though. I don't, I, I've done them before, after seasons or whatever. And typically, I kind of fell out of love with them. I like them because I get to talk about each character in a way that I don't normally do in re in reactions where I get to really talk in depth. With reactions, I'm talking about the scenes or the episode in general, maybe talk about a specific character or whatever. But in this circumstance, I mean, usually when I did tier lists and the reason I stopped doing them is because people got weird about it, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, you put this character in B tier, but I feel like they're S tier. That's cool. Just don't be weird about it. You know what I mean? Like if I put your favorite character in F tier, it is what it is. It's not that serious. <laughs> this is just for fun. And I'm not a scientist. This isn't mathematical. You ask me on a different day, I might feel differently. But that being said, whether or not I continue doing this after each season depends on the reception, right? Of this. But I do enjoy doing these. Now, with this, since I'm starting on season two, understand that there are certain characters that aren't on here, like Cal Drogo, Jory, Sir Roderick, Sir Barristan. Like, these are characters that are either dead or I feel like they're not going to come up in the future. I kind of want to keep them out because either they're one note, they didn't have much screen time. I fuck with the character, but I feel like it's a little too simple to be like, oh, Sir Roderick, S tier or A tier. Even though he wasn't in the show, he was just a good guy. So I try to keep that stuff like, you know, half hand. Again, he was there, didn't have much time, didn't have many things to go through or whatever. Didn't have much development, whatever. Now, with that being said, there are characters on this tier list that might be a little uh, like, why are they here? I don't know who's going to be important. I tried to look at a different Game of Thrones tier list for a season two specific. They had the dragons in there. The di the dire wolves. Like, okay, they might be unique later, but right now, dragons. I'm not going to rank the dragons. The only one I really know is Rakaris because that's the one Daenerys keep talking about. They're all her children, but she has a favorite, clearly. Don't know who's important. I went on, I know, don't Google the characters. I didn't. I went on IMDb. I looked up Game of Thrones season one, season two. And you can actually go in there and you can go to the photos and I just went through and I screenshotted certain characters. Maybe not everyone who should be on this list is on this, but whatever. If I do continue doing this, I'm going to basically keep my list and just add characters to it and maybe shift other characters around. That's how I did it before and I really liked it. I mean, let's get right into it. Like, I'm excited, low-key. Let's start off with Arya Stark. Oh, that's how we're starting? No, we gotta start with somebody's. More simple. More, more simple. Oh, no, y'all got me fucked up. Hold on. This might be harder than I thought. Oh, yeah. A few exceptions with the whole death thing. I do have Ned Stark and Robert Baratheon here because I feel like they got enough screen time. I'm not gonna make a tier list without Ned. Cut it out. Come on, man. Oh, man. Who do I start? I mean, I can start. Honestly, let, let's, let's go ahead and place the upper and lower limits upper limit who do i know is gonna go in s tier do i need to explain <laughs> it, it's Tyrion, Tyrion lannister like do i i don't need to explain if i need to explain i don't know what to tell you 
And then who's at the bottom? I mean, you, you already know. Who, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, yeah, his bitch ass. That matter of fact. Nope, <sighs> mm -hmm. oh, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, it's good, it's good. All right, so we got we got the upper and lower limits. It's really that simple. Now we're gonna start with Arya Stark. No, that's too difficult, bro. Like, let, let me give as I get people on there, then I'll, I'll know exactly like how to place people. So let's let's simplify this. Oh, this is actually something I wanted to talk about. So oh, I could place people like this. I wanted to talk about certain characters and their abilities because I was thinking about this one day. Brienne. Okay, where's the hound? Oh my gosh, hold on now. I'll, I'll, okay, John, John, John. So I'm gonna be honest. I don't know where they rank in skill right now. In my opinion, personal opinion, right? <sighs> Dude, Ned Stark and Jamie are right here. They're up there, right? Where's Sir Loris? Do I have Sir Loris? Oh no, surely I have Sir Loris. <sighs> no way I don't have Sir Loris. Oh, I can just add. P bet, 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 bet. My goofy ass was too excited to add Marjorie to the damn list. I <laughs> oh, I wasn't even thinking about her brother. And again, don't be weird. But don't get in the comments and your feelings if I don't place people exactly where you think they should be. It's fine. It's just my opinion for right now. Anyway, I want to talk about the warriors, right? that I've seen in action, at least somewhat. To me, in my head, in my head canon, Jamie and Ned right here with it. Ned might be a little bit better because when they were going head to head, it seemed like Ned was about to... It, Jamie looked nervous. I'm not gonna lie. He looked nervous. He looked scared. I don't know who would have won. So I'm just gonna put them right here even. Brienne? I think she right there with him. Cause, cause when Jamie was looking at Brienne uh, take out those three guys, he he looked a little impressed, maybe scared. I don't know. And he and she beat Sir Loris, which Sir Loris is a good warrior, as far as I know. And Jon Snow is interesting. Initially, I thought he was a good warrior, but then he got his ass beat by Caster. Granted, uh, Jorah Morm Mormont, he was like. Uh, Let's not be too harsh on him. Or if somebody said it. Let's not be too harsh on him. Caster is a, a beast, basically. But honestly, John, who, who did he beat up? He's beating up uh, so, some murderers. Just some people who don't even know what they're doing with swords. You know what I mean? He's the Jake Paul of Game of Thrones. That's what it feels like. Sometimes. Like, who? Are, and then he even beat Halfhand, who... Half hand, you you know he wasn't trying to go all out. He wasn't actually trying to kill John. I don't know how hard he was trying, but surely he was. Maybe he was trying all out because he knew maybe John would beat him. But I doubt that. I doubt that. I, I don't think John got it like that. I think he's Jake Paul, bro. I, I think I think he just knows. I think he just happens to pick opponents that make him look good. <laughs> to be honest. But with that being said, I don't think he's ass. Obviously, I think he's on, he might be on the level of Sir Loris. I think Ned, Jamie, Brienne, about equal in terms of physical capabilities, in terms of just combat skills, Sir Loris, Jon Snow, equal, but below them. The Hound. Interesting. The Hound. I'm going to be honest. The Hound is a beast cutting people clean in half. Undertaker. But he ha he's nerfed. If he sees a candle in the background, he's going he's gonna to lose the fight. Like... He has that fear about him. And funny enough, I think out of all these guys, I think Bron, I think Bron is the biggest beast. He, he doesn't wear all that armor, right? And he holds his own in a fight. It don't matter who he goes up against. He wins. And then more than that, I've never seen these other characters hold a bow, a bow and arrow. You, you see how Bron was arcing it for the fire arrow? He said calculations. He he's versatile, and the way he stood up to the hound and how they were face to face. I mean, 
it, it felt to me that the show was saying they pretty much on like on even on even footing maybe that's how i feel i mean it's, it's undertaker versus Shawn michaels he's the heartbreak kid the showstopper mr wrestlemania that's how i feel about him i think Braun. i think Braun might be the most formidable fighter here i think so just in in general i, I y'all might i feel like y'all gonna think i'm crazy get out the comments get out the comments i think he's s tier i like his character i love his character he's hilarious and he's so practical about everything he says everything he says just makes sense it's like look i'm i'm a school y'all he's he's schooling Tyrion. he's schooling lord varus on like how a siege goes he's he's experienced he's a beast bro i love i love bron bro i love bron I'd even think about Jorah. Jorah, so like, are you in love with Daenerys? Fight for it, then. Nah, nah, that that's his Khaleesi. He's he's loyal, but and he can fight, but it, it's hard to know exactly where his motivations are. Cause obviously he's in love with Daenerys, but how much of that influences what he says? in order to like just give her good advice like how much of it is just him being like i love you so do this you know <sighs> i I'm, I'm you're not s tier you're not a tier are you b tier you have the abilities i i don't hate you you're mid bro you're mid you're mid you're mid right now you're mid i should say oh um, my you know okay let's go in order now the hound he's a cool guy he's a great guy he has the abilities i think he's just traumatized he's a troubled he's troubled that that's my opinion on him i think he's just troubled he he offered to take sansa i don't know i mean that's what i i think he what he offered to take sansa because he knows how she feels and he hates Joffrey, which I mean that might bump him up to S. I'm joking. Hey, I'll leave him here for now. Man, Sansa should have went with him. Okay, whatever. Ned Stark. Oh, here we go. This is what I was afraid of. <laughs> Look, y'all, y'all, y'all glazing. No, I'm playing. Y'all on bro's dick though. Like, he's he's a good guy, but Ned Stark is like somebody where he acts like how you would play a video game if you're trying to be a good guy like you, you just make the you make decisions that logically might seem dumb but you're like i'm a good guy so i'm just gonna say the good guy uh thing and hope things work out that's how he feels <laughs> and i i can't i i don't vibe with it too much but he does have abilities he did help robert with the whole you know like he, he he's a seasoned vet and he's a good guy he raised his kids like and his kids turned out pretty damn well like he I, be mad he's not s tier i don't think he's s tier he's a tier and oh but we're not doing the whole left right thing it's just tears we're not doing like oh left is better than right no, we're not doing that Y'all gonna be ah uh, y'all gonna hate this video. <laughs> y'all gonna hate this shit. Like that's just my opinion though. Like he, he he did too many like questionable questionable stuff in the name of honor. Can we just do something that makes sense, Ned? Now I'm about to heat up. He he got himself killed, bro. He got himself killed. Really said, do this. He said i don't know like bro come on and you know he wanted to but honor you already got, got a bastard cheated on catlin even your man I, i'll get to that when i get to that character he, he's a tier he's a tier he's a tier i know it sounds like i'm hard on him i love him a tier a tier a tier isn't bad jamie 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 bro who's the last okay okay yeah yeah they, they can wait they can wait jamie 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 again great warrior he he killed the mad king <sighs> killed the mad king stabbed him in the back but that's kind of lannister shit that, that that doesn't you doing it is great and all but that doesn't i mean 
because it could, still could have been a power move. I mean, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. And he, he's a funny character. He smashed Cersei. That's respectable. No, I'm sure. <laughs> um, uh, he's just a funny dude, bro. But he's calm. He's not. He's not mid. I don't think he's mid. He got the abilities. And he, he, he all right. He considering all of the Lannisters, I don't think, at least from what I've seen and what I know, he hasn't really done that bad of things compared to his family members, to be honest. And I, I'm not including Tyrion when I say that, because Tyrion's on like he's on another level. He's Lannister is he, he's the golden child, no matter what they say. Brienne, I fuck with Brienne. I fuck with Brienne. Haven't seen enough of her, but she's loyal. And she's like, I don't serve the Stark side of Cali. And she, she's very... She... She... She she reminds me of Ned Stark. Everyone reminds me of Ned Stark in this damn show. But <laughs> she's very loyal. And uh, is it altruistic? She cool. She might be A tier. Right now, I, I just feel weird about placing characters that I really don't know too much about. And placing them so high. You pushed Jamie pushed what's his name? Damn Brand out of a tower. I gotta respect that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh go ahead, dislike the video. <laughs> Sir Loris. I mean he does his thing. Not mad at him he uh set up his sister to become queen but that could have also been a power move for himself he we know he cheated during the gregor uh jousting match so you know in terms of ability he's he's probably not close to gregor i mean he's not even close to brienne apparently and then he he, he want to be mad at really because like what because he got beat up earlier that day like man go ahead and get you some dick like you want to act yeah he mid see Jon Snow you know nothing Jon Snow you know what during that episode where Egret said that Wendy yeah uh, she said, you know, nothing, Jon Snow. I didn't catch that when I was reacted, but when I was editing, I caught that. I just know that that's a meme or something. I think it's a meme or it's important in the show. I don't know. I want to let y'all know I did catch it. Um, Jon Snow, he's a good guy. He's a really good guy. And for him to be able to keep his dick in his pants when Egret talking about it's wet. Oh my gosh. That's respectable. That's so respectable, bro. I, mean, I can't put everyone in A-tier. We we gonna, we gonna once I place everybody we gonna switch him around we gonna switch him around. He got the he he's too cocky though. That's what it is. That's what it is. Something bothered me about that. He's too cocky. I feel like he always think thinks he knows more than he does. And in a way, he he still has that good heart that Ned does. But I feel like he's I don't know. He feels more cocky about it. Like he knows more than he does when you know nothing. <laughs> uh, I feel bad though, cause I I I fuck with John. I mess with John. I do. Am I really gonna play him with Jamie? Yeah, cause he's not funny, so it balances. Out. I don't know. Man. Arya Stark, S tier. I don't know. I don't know what to say. She's S tier. She's a kid and she's a genius, bro. Is she over here messing with the red god? Beast. Beast type shit. I don't I haven't really seen her, seen her in combat, but she... The way she's able to play and, like, outthink at her age, that's what's, like... I'm, I'm gonna take that into consideration with all the kids. At her age, the way she thinks and her ability to survive... I do think she's she a little too much in a hurry to, like... You know, to be in somebody's face, but I can't put everyone in A tier. 
we 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 gonna see. We gonna see. Baelish, you a bitch, but you but you're not Joffrey, bitch. Because here's my thing about Baelish. You really gonna st like talk to Cersei the way you did and not expect her guards to be on your ass? Like you're so childish. You want power so bad. And here's what kills me about him. Ned's gonna die. He's gonna go to Catelyn talking about. Now it's our opportunity, sir. Friend zone is this way. What are you doing, bro? Are you? He he's so like pussy blinded that he don't even see the situation while people behind him got the box of her dead husband in come on bro the box of her dead ho husband uh her dead husband in a box crammed it in knees to his chest are you kidding me and then you want to and i never know what what he wants and then the way he treated Roz, i can't i can't fuck with you i can't fuck with you i would say he has he seems smart he is smart but he does too many like goofy things on top of that yeah like why would you talk to cersei that way when she has her guards right there ready to kill you why would you talk to catelyn like she really gonna fuck with you like you're so goofy and i don't fuck with you so you're f lucky you're not bitch like Balin Greyjoy don't know anything about him but i figured as time goes on we'll learn more but to be a Greyjoy i mean the, the way they talk about him and to see still see the potential i don't know if he was just desperate for his heir to like do something but to see the potential in your daughter or to at least raise your daughter to where she's leading men and they respect her that's respectable i don't know and then, like, but you're crazy that you're gonna let Theon in when you know he's been with the Starks brainwashed, really? I mean, we know, like, what it is, but to have him in on the, uh, the war plans? Crazy. I mean, but I don't really fuck with you. But I, re I respect what you did, what, how you raised Yara, it seems. I respect that. Benjen, don't really know much about you. Don't really know your abilities. But Jon Snow is cool with you and you are a ranger but you're lost right now you're probably dead i don't i don't know much about you bro yeah yeah having you here with jorah it feels right it feels right to me it feels right to me bran stark smart kid for his age really smart mature too calm too like when he was being held up by osha and the the mother wildlings kept his cool i respect that i respect that about him again i gotta take age into consideration he doing his damn thing i fuck with brand i fuck with brand heavy i fuck with him heavy catlin stark she's so mature and she understands she i feel like she she got the right head on her right she does some rash things but i fuck with her and she's good at talking to people but when her family is the one in danger i feel like she she's in a hurry to do something i'm not mad at that i'm not mad at that but that alone you're really good you're really good at negotiating but when it comes to your family you, you make decisions a little too hastily i've noticed that several times now when it came to your daughters when it came to uh when you didn't know if bran was gonna live or not like b tier i want i want this tier list to be uh, pretty balanced you know what i mean we'll see though cersei yeah fuck you bitch huh? look i res i respect and i'm happy with what she did with sansa and really convincing people by the way that was cool it when i rewatched it when i was editing it seemed like when she said the council ha have spoken and it seems like you don't have to uphold your vows or whatever she said it seemed like the council didn't know what she was talking about and paisel just kind of hopped on like yeah yeah right so i mean I, I respect that and you know she's sympathetic towards santa i'm not saying she's heartless i'm saying she's a bitch she tried to kill Tyrion. Are you serious? 
she tried to kill Tyrion. And she getting drunk, she getting Sansa drunk, talking crazy. But she was drunk, but she crazy. And then everything she's done up to this point. She raised Joffrey and fucked that up. <laughs> and then she got Joffrey off the battlefield. I mean, get, I get it, it's her family. <sighs> and then she want to act all high and mighty. Oh my, yeah, she's after whatever. Daenerys. Interesting. Daenerys is interesting. Mother of dragons. But what has she done? Fought for her dragons. She's led the Kalasar. If that's what you want to call it. If they're still calling it that. Because it's kind of small now, right? Brutal. But I don't really fuck with her. <laughs> she's like, she's so dramatic, bro. <laughs> like, I, I don't mean, like, every time she said, I am the mother of dragons, and you will, like, what are you, wh where is this coming from? Like, why do you keep trying to flex something that it just feels like she thinks she has power? It's like Viserys. Viserys. She keeps thinking she has a certain amount of power, which she does because she has dragons. But she does it when she's not in the position, at least so far. Now that her dragons work, maybe she can actually back it up. But before it was like, what do you? She got she's gotten lucky this whole time that people are patient with her. You know what I mean? They could have kicked her out of Karth so long ago. They could have never let her in if Shaq didn't want to get some of that Daenerys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, B tier. But I fuck with her, you know. Mother of Dragons. I feel like I gotta put respect on her name. She might be B C tier though. Oh, people ain't gonna like that. I already know. People ain't gonna like that. <laughs> uh We'll see, we'll see. Davos. I fuck with you, Davos. Smuggler, you got the knuckle. He he he's Seems like one of the few where he got his head on straight with the whole Lord of the Light situation. And he's loyal. He's loyal to Stannis. Afraid to speak up sometimes, though. But he, he'll do it when he needs to. I mess with him. Uh, yeah, I think he's, you know, with Cal. Uh, th yeah, this lineup looks right to me. Gendry, haven't done much. Haven't done much. I expect him more. You seem like a beast at being a blacksmith. You made a cool helmet. You know, you got a physique, but I haven't seen you swing a sword. Actually, I haven't. Arya gave you tips, brother. Like, um, I'm not. By the way, did Arya ever get her needle back? I know that guard had it at one point, but I don't think she ever got it back. Anyway. <laughs> you're funny, though. You're cool. Yeah, you're right here with him. You're right here with him. I like this lineup. Look, I feel so bad having Daenerys down here, but I am the mother of drag. Like, oh, my gosh. Hold on. S tier. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. He's so... He, he's dumb. I don't know what to tell you. And he had his dick out in front of Bran. You're crazy. I don't even know why he's on this list, low-key. Um, I think I just put him on here because, like, maybe later he gets hit in the head and becomes smart. I don't know. But... Like, you're just here, bro. You're not F tier, but, like, you're not... You're a good Osha carries, bro. Osha carries you. While you carry Bran, literally. I don't know what to tell you, bro. I feel bad. Hodor, but Hodor is the only reason you're not an F tier, bro. <laughs> Fucking suck. No, I'm joking. I don't know. I don't know, man. I feel bad. Jack Ken, I mean, he's a beast. He's a beast. And like you can tell he cares about his own life. When uh Arya named him, made him name himself. And on top of that, he—I mean—he has crazy ability abilities. He's able to change his face. The reason he's on here is because I assume we'll see more of him because of the whole Valar, something, Valor, Valor, something. The words, whatever. I think at one point Jackin might help Arya or train her. Maybe that'd be kind of cool. But he's a beast. And the fact that he, like, repaid it. Like, I know it was a whole Red God thing, but the fact that Arya saved his life and he's like, hey, I got you. I love that. And he up upheld his part of the bargain. Love that. Lancel's so goofy. Goofy ass. Like, what do you do, bro? You do nothing. Like, you were on the field? I respect that, but you took an arrow, then you ran away? 
but you 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 did that to notify Cersei. They, here's what I love about Lancel. He tried to give it outside the orders of Tyrion. He tried to convince Cersei. It spoke up to the queen, the crazy ass queen. It was like, hey, the men need him on the field. He tried to speak up. I respect that. I respect that. But I'm not gonna put you in C with uh, Jorah, Benjen, you know, Daenerys. I'm not putting you up there with them. Yeah, I'm not putting you up there with them. Jorah Mormont. He 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 raising John. Snow. He's patient and understanding. He's raising John Snow. He's he said, let's take the fight to them. He he went on the other side of the wall. He could have just sent them, but he went with them. I respect him. I respect him heavy. I haven't seen his abilities very understanding he gets what it is and he understands Jon Snow and I... to become the Lord Commander I assume you have to have done some stuff but is he A tier? I mess with him heavy and I assume he has abilities but yeah I mess with him heavy I mess with him heavy I mess with him heavy but you couldn't beat the White Walk on your own Jon Snow did oh my god Jon Snow might be up here with you bro like Jon Snow really had to help you had to save you Hold on, hold on. We gonna, we gonna switch some stuff around. We gonna switch some stuff around, bro. I want to move Jamie lower, but like, I know he has the ability abilities and he's funny. He's charming. Like, kill the Mad King. That's, a, that's a big deal. Am I really gonna put Davos up here? I fuck with him. Yeah, I fuck with him. I fuck with him. I just, I just don't like having Jamie up here. But again, whatever. We'll talk about it. Lord Varys. smart he's the fact that he's in the position he he's in while being a eunuch when everyone talks shit about him being a eunuch i guess there's a stigma around it he's smart and the fact that people know him like davos mentioned that uh lord varus knows what you ate three days ago i his name gets around people know about him right and he knows things and he knew how to pronounce that one author that one book i respect it like i don't think i need to talk more about it tell you you're fucking weird um my, my maester lewin oh, you're a good character man you're a good character the fact that you're a maester and you tried magic like you, you i feel like just being a maester is pretty respectable i don't know what's going on anymore with this list we'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll go back through but i love how balanced it is so far marjorie you know the more i look at her the more she looks like a simpsons character marge simpson let's go she bad as hell <laughs> i mean she she's she got a good head on her she do and i like her a lot <laughs> she hasn't really done much though i, I can't i can't put her in a dude like the hell but i think i feel like she's very smart knows what she wants didn't give a fuck when really died <laughs> which is understandable she just wants to be queen and what she was willing to do yeah 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 I'll, I'll leave her there for now we'll see davos's son i kind of just put him in here because i don't know he, he feels like someone's going to become a significant character i don't know if he died during the explosion the lord of light like bitch, shut your bitch out and then you can just tell he he doesn't know what he's talking about because when there were no ships he's talking about oh maybe we caught him by surprise and davos was like we didn't catch him by surprise bro that's when he did the three days before Lord Varys uh, statement. But you're just goofy. But are you up here with Hodor? I love how I love the respect he he shows his father, even though his father doesn't believe in the same thing he does. And like he he called his father his captain. He said, "Stannis is my king." He he does seem like a bad guy. Like he, I'm I'm gonna keep him D tier right now. The red one, the 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 uh, Fire Lord. She's a beast. And she looked good. Like. What's it, What's the thing she says? Uh, the, the dark is uh, filled with something. Catchphrase at having a. She ain't, you ain't A tier. I'll give you B tier. That feels good. Osha. Sneaky. She's a wildling. She's a savage. She takes care of the kids though. I gotta respect that. B tier? Oh my god, B tier is kind of stacked right now. B tier is kind of stacked right now. 
Podrick, I mean, he might be S tier because you, you saved you saved Tyrion. If you are associated with Tyrion and Tyrion truly trusts you, it bumps you up a tier. It bumps you up a tier. I don't know what to tell you. He's up here, bro. I don't know what to tell you. I don't make the rules. I do, but you know, Pisa, bitch. The the fact because here's what's interesting about him: the fact that he'll he'll speak normal to Tyrion because Tyrion knows what's up, bitch ass. And you get he's like a vine that just hangs on to whatever healthy tree is nearby. He can't stand on his own. Especially when he pretended to be an old, fragile old man. Like, I respect that though. But he doesn't seem to... I don't see him doing the stuff Baelish and Varys doing. The underhanded stuff. I mean, he is doing the underhanded stuff. But not like in a smart way, I feel like. He just snitch. He is snitch. That's it. He a bitch. And then... Oh my god, I, during the next reaction, I'm gonna bring it up, but Pycelle, I'm on to you, bro. As in, like, I, I caught something that no one in the comments brought up. I caught it. And I was surprised. I was like, why didn't no one say anything? Anyway, Renly's dead. I don't know why he's in this list. I, I must have just, whatever. But I think during the reaction, I don't know if it was the part that I didn't record on accident, but... I said that he seemed like one of the few characters in the show that is always that always kind of makes sense in a way and you under he has his head on straight and that's why they killed him that that's my theory though hey they just killed him i fuck with really i think he could have done some great things i do genuinely i think he could have been all right king too the fact that he was willing to have Brienne be his personal bodyguard, cause even though she's a woman, I mean, like he a beast, bro. He a beast. To rest in peace, rest in peace, Rickon. You fucking weirdo. Get your ass in D tier. <laughs> you're only in D tier because at least you're not like a crybaby. But are you? Nah. He, he. I mean, he just doesn't do anything. He doesn't do anything. He's just there. At least Bran is cool. This dude, while they were doing the whole meeting, they ain't cracking nuts. Oh my gosh. But he's going through a lot. That's why you're not F tier though. You know, you're D tier. It's fine. It's fine. You, you can always move up, kid. Rob Stark. Here's what's interesting. This is what I want to talk about. Rob Stark. Let me let me put him back. Let me put him back. Y'all like, why is Podrick above Ned Stark? Y'all so funny. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Rob Stark, I think, look. I mentioned this before he he reminds me a lot of ned stark in the way he carries himself like showing mercy like he 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 creating war crimes i mean he's not doing them but he's like creating a war uh i forget what it's called but geneva conventions is that what i'm thinking of but he's a good guy genuinely i don't know his ability in battle but do, to tywin come on y'all tywin wait is tywin on this list I forgot Tywin Lannister. Surely not. Anyway, he beat Tywin Lannister, a, a veteran in the game. Granted, Tywin ain't really all that. Like I saw the histories and lore. What? Oh, he 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 went to King's Landing at the last second when it, basically the, they let him in and they back and he backstabbed him. Like what? What strategy is that? He's like, hey, we're on your side. No, we're not. Like, okay, yeah, congrats, you're smart. Like what? That's not impressive to me. He just he picked his moment, but it, you know he's he's older. If you if you live to be old in this world, I mean I guess that's impressive by itself. I guess, but you're being beat by Rob Stark, a kid, bro. That's dude. He's <laughs> and what's crazy is here's my thing. I initially as I'm talking, I was gonna put him right here because I'm like Ned Stark was following Robert Baratheon. Rob is leading his own army. Yeah, he has a council. Everyone has a council. Tywin has a council. They and he's firing half of them because this kid is beating him. The whole war. That's fucking crazy. You get what I'm saying? And but more than that, right? The one problem that I have with him, and he's so understanding, and everything he does, I get it. But him marrying Talissa? That was the one problem I had. Then I realized something. Wasn't Ned already married to Catelyn? And he went 
with Wyla, or he went to wherever with Wyla, got her pregnant, had a whole bastard. At least Rob didn't even meet who he cheating on. I mean, I don't even know if he want to cheat. Like, he just broke an oath. He's not even cheating. He just broke an oath. He, he hasn't been married. He, he hasn't even met the chick. How are how you, how you going to cheat on someone that you haven't met? You can't. He just broke an oath to, like, uh, the Frey guy. I, I am a little upset, but, like, Ned actually fucked somebody and got them pregnant. Brought him back, brought him back home to Catelyn. I mean, I obviously don't leave him, but, you know. That's crazy. When you think about... So, like, it makes me want to put Rob above him. But do I want to put Rob in S tier? He's marrying for love, but, like, are you really going to break an oath? Your men are looking at you for guidance. But I can't be mad. Talissa's the one. Be happy. Fuck Frey. The whole reason... He said himself, the whole reason he took the uh, bridge was because to get to his father. Couldn't save his father. Fuck it. No, I still don't. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the whole him marrying to listen thing. That's like, Jesus Christ. He, 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 he this is going to be trouble. It, but he's doing things. He's not just allowing the veterans on his team to be like, oh, do this, do that. No, he's, but he's making decisions that make sense. Again, maybe not the marriage part. You haven't even met Frey. What's Frey? What of the Frey chick is bad? You know, well, she cool. I I just can't. I feel I feel like I should put him above Ned. I do. He's just as good, except he didn't cheat on his girl. <laughs> like he's winning wars. Y'all y'all aren't listening. Listen, he's a kid, and he stop. Get out the comment section. Y'all aren't listening. He's a kid beating Tywin Lannister in war. Y'all get what I'm saying? That shit is goaded. It's goaded. I don't know why I don't want to put him in Esther when I have fucking Podrick in it. I fuck with Podrick though. I fuck with Podrick. He, whatever. Rob Esther. Fuck y'all. Something about him is bothering. You know what? There you go. In between. There you go. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know. He's somewhere between. I, I don't know why I don't want to put him in S tier when Podrick's there. <laughs> but I don't want to. I, I don't want to put him in A tier because he's goaded. He, he, you, 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 on paper, he's goaded. I just don't know why I don't feel that way. Robert Baratheon. I mean, he. Gods, he was strong back in the day. Oh, he could swing a hammer and cave a man's chest in. Oh, those were the days. Love this guy. I <laughs> love this guy. Uh, but am I putting him up there with Ned? He is the king. He became the king. But I feel like Ned didn't become the king just because he didn't want the throne. i am be honest. I think he could have. I think he just wanted to lead. I, I, I don't know. Robert took charge, bro. But then he, he let the Lannister slide with all kinds of foulness, bro. But at the end, like, he understands that Ned is his friend and he B tier. I don't know what to tell you. B tier. B tier is stacked. Hopefully we'll round it out. Roz is a beast. I love Roz. <laughs> now Roz is smart, but she goes through so much that it feels bad. But you know she's smart. And Varys sees the potential. And you know what's interesting? And something else that I noticed when I was editing? I, I I might talk about this during the reaction too. Or before my next reaction, whatever. In the intro. But Varys sees that potential. And Varys went to her after Baelish got Heron Hall. He like and he was pissed about it. So I feel like he wants to get back. He's, he sees the potential in Roz. But she's not A tier. Come on now. Sam Humpty. He reads books. But he don't run. <laughs> he falls at every every given opportunity. He falls. And he has trouble. He has trouble getting up. You, you're on the wall. Granted he's a steward. But I feel like on the wall. It has to be almost in a way. Kind of like in the military. Where you can be in a non-combat job but if push comes to shove you're expected to also be in combat and he's on the other side of the wall like he's not just a steward he's still a man of the a man of the watch and not a black brother you know but he's knowledgeable 
he has that going and he's a good dude but he's so he's still thinking about gilly i can't be mad i can't be mad at him you know gilly called him brave and all that the fact that i remember her name is fucking crazy to me <laughs> this is too we're, we're we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna switch it up we're gonna switch it up we're gonna switch it up sansa oh poor sansa i feel like sansa has done such a good job at i love the king Oh, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else like that. That's that takes mental strength, especially especially when Tyrion questioned her. And she still said that same little piece. That surprised me. And Tyrion was like, you might survive us. Yeah, I feel like he was so impressed by her, you know, still sticking to that. Even when uh, he, she no longer had to marry ha when she found out she no longer had to marry Joffrey. Even even when Baelish questioned her. She still held. That's impressed. I'm genuinely impressed by her, by far. And she's so funny, bro. She, she. I love how she annoys Joffrey. That shit is hilarious. Oh, you're going to be on the front lines, right? Oh, of course you are. How stupid am I? She's hilarious. She's hilarious. You and Gendry can, you know, be together for now. You, you with Daenerys, whatever. Yeah, fuck you, bro. Uh, he has abilities. He's a fighter. He, he's probably a uh, stronger and a better fighter than Sir Loras. Not for sure he is. But the Hound whoops you. I bet. I bet. And he was calm. He seemed chill. I was expecting him to be weird. But I guess when he's not raping and pillaging, he, he kind of chill. Like the fuck? Fuck you, bro. You give a fuck about you? That, that's the only reason you're not bitched here, bro. Because you can fight. Like, I, I respect your abilities. I guess. And again, I expected him to be way worse than he is. He right there with Baelish, I guess. Damn, I feel bad for having Tully this low. She's just a little crazy. But you, I don't know, your son weird. You know, this is a combination of Tully, of Liza Tully, and her son. It's a combination of them. They're both weird together. Cersei is here. I already put her there? Damn, I must have did that quick. I don't really know much about you. You're weird. You don't talk because I know your tongue is cut out. But I, nah, no, I don't fuck with you. But you're not a bitch. That is a fuck with you. Shay! She has no ability. She she ain't a good talker. She ain't a good fighter. I don't think she's that sm She's like maybe a quick learner, but I don't think she's exceptionally smart. But you're nice and you're a good person. I like you, you know? But you know Tyrion, so that gives you a boost. Or Tyrion fucks with you, so, you know? I don't make the rules, even though I do. Stannis. Stannis impresses me. He has the ability. He's slicing people up. And even though he got outsmarted by Tyrion. I mean, who who wouldn't? You know? He still fought with his men. He led him. He, he saw all his men explode and burn up. And he said, let's go. And then he got pissed, you know, when the Lord of Light... I, f I don't know how much of that was because he felt like Lord of Light had his back. I don't know. I don't know, man. So how much of that was... I'm just going to assume that was all bravery. And then, like, he... he, When Robert made him give up the castle, he gave it up because that's his king, and he's loyal, and he he's honest. He's a, he's a straightforward, honest guy. I respect that. I respect that. And he got him a good one on his shoulder. Like, go ahead. Go ahead with your Fire Lord. A tier. He is kind of a... I, I really don't have any problem. This is actually surprising. See, this is why I like talking through this stuff on a tier list. It's surprising. Because I wouldn't have... Before this, I wouldn't have thought that I would put Stannis in A tier. But he's so interesting. I don't I don't have a actual problem with Stannis. Now that I really think about it. It just... It, the only times I've seen him, he, he like fors forsake... Forsaked? He forsook. <laughs> he was forsaken his gods and the for the Lord of Light, and he don't even seem to really believe in him. So it's like you're just doing that for power. That that's what's getting me. You're just doing that for power, and for someone who seems to value honesty very highly, to basically lie about your gods or, or who you truly believe in. Like, if you don't believe in them, you don't believe in them. I'm not saying you can't change that over time, but like, damn, bro, it's kind of hypocritical. But I don't have a problem with him. He's A tier. He might be A plus. 
Nah, I'm not putting you above Lord Varys. Not yet. Not above Ned Stark either. But he's smart. We we gonna we gonna we gonna see again. I, I like my tier list pretty balanced. So, Talissa, nice girl, smart girl. And you know that thing was good to Rob marrying it. He hit it one time and married it. Like oh my, hey, Rob, go ahead. Like thing must be no. Nah, okay, let me stop. She's she's cool. I mean, she's not crazy. I just feel like she's gonna get Rob in trouble because like they gonna see like bro, you doing a lot for her. I don't know, man. Something about her is bothering me. But not really. Am I really putting you with Sansa? And Jorah? And Daenerys? Y'all, I know people... Here's what's funny about this... About tier list. And about uh, this video. There are going to be people that are going to go to this tier list. That are going to click on this video. And they're going to skip like to the halfway point or towards the end. And just see where I put people and be like, Sansa and Daenerys. I already know. I already know. <laughs> Paul Drake. I already know. I already know. It is what it is. But again, depending on the reception, I might do more of these uh, at the end of each season. I might not. Who knows? He has no combat ability. I mean, he he's good with the bow. He's he's really good with the bow. But he be getting knocked out, don't he? Or did I just make that up in my head? I mean, he got knocked out that one time. And he's very emotional and he makes rash decisions. And he may, you might be D tier, bro. I fuck with you. I fuck with your story, at least. I think you're just kind of. The fact that the only reason you're not F tier is because you at least saw fit to let the kids live, which I, I like. Yara. Yara seems pretty smart, reasonable. She's not crazy. But she grew up a Greyjoy, so I can't hold that against her. Just like I can't really hold that against Theon too much. But no, he was raised with the Starks, though. She was raised as a Greyjoy through and through. And she seems more reasonable than Theon. So, uh, you, you're mid for now. You're mid. Egret. I fuck with, I fuck with Wendy. I fuck with Wendy. <laughs> oh, I mess with her. She's funny as hell, bro. <laughs> and she... She she was giving John a chase, wasn't she? John was <sighs> I threw the snow, couldn't catch up to her, and then he did. Was playing, man. She a man. I I fuck with her, man. I really do. And then still like got him caught up by uh, the other wildlings, played him like a fiddle, and she was ready to die. Like do it already. I fuck with her. I do. I feel like she shouldn't be an A plus tier, but it's my list. Fuck y'all. <laughs> Tywin, you disappoint me, brother. <laughs> Cause like, how are you losing to a kid? But maybe again, he's A plus tier. He's goaded. Maybe he's just like that. Maybe he's just like that. And then I can't, I can't vibe with like. And then he, he, the fact that he's the one telling Gregor, "Have you gone soft on me?" Like that just tells you how fucking crazy he is. On top of what he did when uh, the Mad King died or like when he went to King's Landing, took over, whatever. He's crazy. But he's Uncle Tywin. And I feel like he's capable of... He, he seems like a good leader. I think he's just getting outplayed by Rob. I think he is. I think he's a fucked up leader as well. But he let Arya eat up, you know what I'm saying? Like a little bit of mutton. I fucks with, I fucks with that. The fact that you were nice to Arya and she's an S tier. I mean, anyone in S tier, like, it's, it's gonna pop up a uh, peripheral people. Oh, that's everybody. Okay, okay. So this is where things are gonna change. Let me figure out if I'm happy, and this is the way I like it because I get to look at each character side by side. Like, are they really equal to this person in terms of like a balancing of how much I like them and their abilities and all that. Daenerys is fireproof. My fuck with Benjamin. She's so dramatic. Hold on, let me start at the top. Tyrion, yeah. Yeah, Tyrion's Esther. Like, Bronze Esther. Are you? I would feel bad putting her anywhere that's not Esther. Nah, you gonna have to show me some, Arya. You have to show me some, really. She's smart. She did kill one kid. <laughs> like, uh... She's again. It's not just about combat ability. How smart are you? 
how how much willpower do you have you know that that's the stuff i'm also thinking about she's so mature yeah i gotta keep her ass here this nigga's magic so yeah Padrick's the homie and he saved Tyrion. automatic guest here i don't know what to tell you rob is a goaded i only reason it's a plus here is because you really gonna marry to listen like just keep her like a, around and see if you can work around the phrase i don't know think about it he hit it one time and married her oh my gosh that kills me that kills me oh oh but hey but he was fucking with her for a while i mean she looked good if i hit that maybe i'm popping on the knee but i have problems so like i don't know what to uh egret she's funny as hell and i can't get how she was talking she she feels the most like i would if she asked me to hang out one day i'd be like yeah i vibe with you like let's hang out you cool you're a cool company to be with and she fuck with john Snow. she's not all evil but like she's i mess with her bro i don't know what to say but are they equal now that i'm really thinking about it see this is why you got to look at it all together you're not equal to rob stark but you're hilarious i love you i love you more than some of these characters so yeah it balances out you know stannis he's a beast but he lost his rob's been winning see that's like you gotta understand that there's a line there rob's been winning stannis lost ned lost the hound ran away brian don't really know much about her but she she impresses me like it's more like she's being brought up as you know jor he's cool hold on hold on hold on really down the sea Roz I like Roz man and the fact that she was like going along with the whole Tyrion thing oh man you Sam yeah you don't have the fit the you're, you're a big man you, you're with Daenerys though it's good company it's good company you're with Daenerys Marjorie Maester Lewin you got bodied. I can't believe Daenerys liked them people in that vault. But I just don't feel like she's smart. She the only reason here's here's what kills me about Daenerys. The only reason she got out of the situation that she was in was because of her dragons. Yeah, she's the mother of dragons. But like she would have just been caught. And kept in that haunted mansion, Luigi's haunted mansion. If it weren't for her dragons, learning fire flamethrower. She everything she does is stupid. Until she lights something on fire, like <laughs> she got Cal Drogo killed. <laughs> Granted, I was with her. I was I was fucking with the choices, but she got Cal Drogo killed, and bodied his ass with that witch. Goofy ass. Yeah, you yeah, you staying down here with Santa in the Is there anyone I want to bring up? No. I don't really know much about Yara. Again, the men respect her side. So and she looked good like the only okay, the only two that I'm thinking about moving is Marjorie and what's her face? How long have I been recording? An hour? Okay, that's not that long. My attack on Titan Tyrion list took like two hours. Again, Shay would be down here, but you know, Tyrion fuck with her. But I feel like y'all got to be together. You know what I mean? Again, we're not doing left to right. I'm just doing it so my brain works better. Catelyn, Bran. Yeah, yeah. Jamie's pretty damn smart too. Man. So I, I guess I'll keep him here. Maester Lewin. I feel like I got to move you down, brother. Yara, I feel like I got to move you up. You you really do. F it feels like you got a good head on your shoulders considering you're a Greyjoy. You got crazy abilities. Osha, you're smart. Davos really got no problem. You just seem like you got a really good head on your shoulders. John, I fuck with you. Pretty balanced. Theon, yeah, we're not moving you up. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fucking with that. Yeah, fuck all y'all. Oh, weird. I might fuck right now. Nah. <laughs> she thought. I feel good about this. I still feel like I gotta move Roz down, but she's so. she she Her willpower is there. That's a factor. That's the that's the uh, ability factor. 
I really try not to have sympathy play into my choices. It can be hard though. Robert's too brutal. I feel like he's done some great things, but he's too... Uh, but I get what... Uh... The fact that he allowed Tywin to do what he did, and like there were no repercussions. I get it, it was because he helped. Dude, this is the hardest thing I've ever... I've never had this much trouble finishing off of tier list. Patrick, move your goofy ass down here, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel okay. I feel good about this right here. I feel good about this. Do I feel good about this? I again, I haven't seen much of you, but whatever. You're here. If she's here, you're here. Again, I keep looking at Jamie. I'm like, do I really want to move him? But then I keep thinking to myself, no, nah, because he. I mean, the worst thing he did was push Brand out of tower, which is crazy. But I feel like he's a psychopath. So like, <laughs> I think he's just like that, bro. He's a psychopath. And then, you know, it balances out because Brandon's up here with him. Catelyn, I want to move John down. The fact that he finished off half-hand, though, built so much respect for me because he knew what had to be done. And he did it. He's just so emotional and cocky. like. But that's why he's down here. That's why he's down here, though. <sighs> I don't know. All I'm thinking about is what is this comment section going to look like? <laughs> what is that? hey hey it is what it is hey whatever i'm i'm this is what i'm fucking with this is the final this is the final again ask me on a different day on a different week on a different month this might be different but right now this is how i'm feeling and again if this is received well next um tier list because I, I just don't want the vibe to be weird you know what i mean I, again the previous tier lists i've done the vibe got weird and i don't know but just my opinion I might do this for future seasons as I do the histories and lore. We'll see. I'm happy with this so far, though. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Keep your head up. Peace.